In a poker game, Max Taylor wins the ancestral home of Column Chance. And when he goes there with his family, he soon discovers that the game he thought he had finished is still continuing, and now a game of chance is being played with the lives of those who enter the mansion. As bizarre films go, this one certainly deserves the title. Its audience is mixed between people that actually like it and hate it, and I'm with the ones that really don't like it. This was the directing and writing debut film for Simon Sprackling. At least that's how I think his name is supposed to be pronounced. To be honest, some people really praise this film, but I can't see why. The story was simple, but okay. It's not really a heavy story film so much as it is just a setup for these really bizarre kills. Uh, the humor is not that good, especially for a film entitled Funny Man. The sets and props look like absolute shit in some sections. And, for the most part, none of them really look that good. Also, why in the hell is there a character named Thelma who is, parry who is a direct parody of Velma from Scooby-Doo? Even though I really don't like this film, there's something I do have to admit. It has a strange appeal to it. Despite how awful it is, it is still a fairly interesting piece. But not interesting enough to get a good rating. I give it a 1.1 out of 5. This is going to be one of those you really have to see it for yourself to decide whether it's a good film or not.